So the next thing we want to do is find out which die image we should show based on the variable that was passed in, which is num. Uh, if you look in our project navigator and you look at the images that we have, they're all named dice one, two, three, four, five, six. And so what we're going to pass in to show die is a number from one to six. And we're going to construct the file name first before assigning it to the UI image view. So what string with format does is it's going to take num and it's going to inject it in where this percentage d is. So it's actually going to be dice1.png, dice2.png or whatever num, you know, whatever is passed into num and that corresponds with our files here. Now that we've constructed our file name, let's pass it into the image view. And you do that by specifying uh, so our UI image view has an image property and we're going to assign it a UI image and we're going to create a UI image with the image named method and we're going to actually pass in the file name. So that's all there is to it. Right? If the UI image view is not declared it's going to create an instance of it with height and width 9090 at 00xy coordinates it's going to add the UI image view to the die view and then it's going to construct the file name and finally create a UI image with that file name well it's going to grab that image with the file name and then assign it to our image view okay let's go back to our interface And change this side to our controller. What we want to do here in our role button handler is essentially assign this role number to the method that we just created for our die view. But you know, we created these two instances of die view in our interface. How do we reference those instances from the controller? And how you do that is you can create a property in your controller simply by again holding down control like we did with the button and then dragging this guy over to the interface and that's going to create a property I'm going to call this this is the second die and I'm going to do it with this one as well hold down control drag it over and this is the first die now in our controller it doesn't recognize a class called die view because it doesn't know about it again we have to import it save it and now if I go back to the implementation file I can refer to that I can go first um, what, what did we call it oh I have to use the self keyword so first die so now in our roll button clicked handler we can refer to the two die views which we declared in our interface here so because they are properties go self dot first die the method that we created here was uh, show die and we pass in a number so let's pass in roll now let's show um, show the same number in our second die save that there's one modification that we should do here I just realized that every time we click the roll button 
this handler is going to get called and it's going to create a new instance of the model. Well, we, we don't need to create a new instance of the model every single time. Excuse me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the header file and I'll create a property for our model. But however, we are going to need the import statement. I'm going to move it from the implementation file to the header file. Uh, and it doesn't need to be an IB outlet because it's not connected to anything on in the interface. Uh, that's what the IB outlet refers to. I'm going to call it our model from here. And the reason why I moved the import statement for the dice data controller into the header file is because the implementation file already refers to the header file. And so the header file has those imports, which you know I can still refer to the class here. So instead of declaring a new instance model, what I'm going to do is and erase this line and in here in view did load so I explain what all of these events are in the blog posts on my uh, blog but essentially view did load will happen once when this controller gets um, loaded into memory what I'm gonna do here is assign our model to be a new instance of dice data controller. And then here I can use our property. Okay, so let's run our application and see what happens. You can press the run button up here in the upper left hand corner. And there you go. Essentially what's happening when you click roll is it's asking our model to give us a, a dice roll number and then we're passing that number into the show die method which we wrote of these two die views which we declared in the interface builder right here. Because episode 5 was quite long I've split it up into four parts so that it's easier to digest. Click in the link in the description to go to the next part or click this annotation to proceed. Alright, I'll see you in the next part.